What's up guys welcome back to part 26 tutorial of make your android application. Now in this video we will continue our coding of android interview in eclipse. Now let's continue our coding in the last video we coded a lot initialize the text view buttons then set the on click listener. We are now about to provide the functionality to all these three buttons right just just a common addition guys in the total length yy just do one thing add few characters right plus this slash sign is for that slash that I have used between the x and y so before yy there is a slash so I have added a slash here right before we proceed let us first run our application and check how it looks like our app is probably going to crash because I have left one thing guys and I just want to show you how you can debug that error with the help of log cat now this is our front page.xml this is our title bar which we are going to customize later now just click on simple question our app will definitely crash see our app has crashed now let's check our log cat and fix the error now our error starts from this line right let's go upside fatal exception main right now check the first line android activity not found exception our eclipse IDE or our virtual machine is not able to find our activity now let's check out unable to find the explicit activity class simple question you have not declared this activity in your activity manifest.xml now guys as I told you earlier whenever you create an activity it is compulsory that you declare that activity inside your manifest file so just open your manifest file go to application downside then add it here right hit activity browse it select the simple question then save it now again add one more activity browse it now this time we are going to add what our tough question select it hit ok save it go to the android manifest.xml now here successfully we have added simple questions and tough questions java right now let's do one thing again run our application now let's click on simple question bam our app is running and the first question has been appeared in front of you what is on right and this is the first question so xs has been converted into one slash and total number of question that is 50 and here it is saying press a button for the answer now when you click on this a button it is going to display some other image as you can see here a red image of a is appearing right now we have to add the functionality of this A button and also these two buttons so as when user press this A button this text view will change to the answer to this question fine so let's do one thing let's get back to coding now here for the left button let's add the functionality TV answer dot set text now this statement will be equivalent to this statement fine so just copy it and paste it here now similarly this statement should also be present for the functionality of the right side button also I will just explain you guys why I am using this statement for both the left button and the right button fine so when the user press the left button then we have to reduce the index also let's decrement it by one fine now let's change our question set text index right now again we have to take care of what TV present index right right now let's do one thing copy these three statements and paste it inside the B right now here when the user press the right button then we have to increment this one this index so what we are gonna do instead of decrement let's increment it right now rest of the things remains as it is now in case of show answer what we are gonna do we are going to add a statement TV answer dot set text simple answers index right now it's time to run our application just save it and run our application and let's see how awesome our app will look 
bam our app is running now let's click on the simple question now here our app is running with the first question up appearing in front of it now let's do one thing click on this right button now this is the second question as you can see here and the second question has appeared now again right hand side what is anode architecture this is the third question if user want to see the answer to this question then he should just click on this a right so it display the answer anode architecture is made up of four key components blah 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 whatever now again right so again hit it anode framework what does it stands for it display the answer right now similarly go left again go left again go left now previous to one we don't have any content so our app will probably crash when we will press this button see yes our application has crashed this is because now our program has crashed just because in our simple question dot xml we had an array right now suppose this question now this array is of length 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 now at present suppose the index is 0 now when the user press the left button then in that case index minus minus result into what minus 1 now at the minus 1 position we don't have any element in the simple question array so in that case it is a null pointer exception and our program will probably crash so in that case what we are gonna do the only solution is that we have to change this index of minus 1 to what straight away 4 so that the last question will appear in front of the user now similarly guys if the present index is 4 and if the user press what right button so our index will become 5 now at the fifth position we don't have any question available so again the program is gonna crash so in that case we again have to change that index of 5 to what straight away to the 0 so in this way we can make our array circular in nature right this is the only solution in order to make app user friendly and whenever user want he can press left button or the right button so as to switch over the questions right so we have to handle this exception now when our index is 0 and we are decrementing it then index becomes what minus 1 so in that case we have to apply the if else statement so let's handle this exception if index equal to equal to minus 1 then in that case what we are going to do we are going to write index equal to simple question dot length minus 1 so this statement will help us to make our array a circular array when the index is 0 then it is decremented by 1 so it becomes minus 1 so when index is equal to minus 1 then index equal to 50 minus 1 that that is it becomes index equal to 49 so so in this way we have linked our array and made it a circular array now let's do one thing copy these two statements and paste it inside let us write the else statement also else perform this right so when our final value of index is not equal to minus 1 then these two statements will be executed because these are the general statements which will not make our program crash so let it be like this only now similarly guys when we move outside the array or you can say beyond the array then in that case again our program is going to crash so in that case again we have to handle the situation so for that if index equal to equal to simple question dot length right then in that case what we have to do cut it and paste it above right in that case what we're gonna do we are going to initialize our index as 0 so when our index goes beyond 50 so it will again make our array a circular array and after 50 the zeroth index will come right this will help us to avoid the crashing of our program due to the null pointer exception control c here and again control v right then again else statement right now again our codes are looking quite messy but please don't confuse guys as i explained you each and every single step that i am performing here 
Now, whenever the user press the left button or right button, let me show you again. Now, when the user press right button, then all the way this statement is always set to press A button for the answer. Even if you click this, it shows the answer. Now go to next question. Again our answer text view is always set to press A button for the answer. Right? Now this is happening. Now this is happening because every time we press the right button or left button, so TV answer is set to what? Press A button for the answer. Similarly here also, B left our TV answer is always set to press A button for the answer. Now after that, these stuffs I have explained you why I am decrementing this index and why I have written this if else statement, right? In order to avoid our null pointer exception, in order to avoid our program to crash, we are using this if else statement. Similarly, B right also, we are using if else statement in order to make our program run smoothly. And this B show answer, it will display the answer to the user, right? Now let's again save it and run our application. Now our app is again running. Now let's click on simple question. Now let's do one thing. Press the left button. Now as soon as we press the left button that you can see 1 has changed to 50. So now this is the result of our linking of our making the array a circular array. This is our last question. What language is supported by Android for application development? Right? These are the simple question guys. Similarly go back go back go back all these questions are here fine and these are the answers to the question now guys similarly write the codes of this tough question dot java i'm not going to explain you i have copied and pasted few of the codes from this simple question dot java into the tough question dot java i just want you to yourself write the codes of tough question dot java it will be like your practice session just you have to do one thing instead of simple question write the tough question and instead of simple answers write the tough answers that's it all the stuffs all the coding will remain same now from the next tutorial itself we are going to learn how we can customize our action title bar that you can see at the top we are going to add a button out here that will make your android application speak your app will interact with the user and also, we will customize the title bar of the front page.xml. So meanwhile guys, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video. We need your immense support to grow. This is Shrek from SmartHerd signing off. Thank you and have a good day.